In the late 1980s, Japanese automaker Mazda began a project to expand its dealership network throughout Japan to compete with the other Japanese automakers' wide range of dealership networks in the country. This led to the introduction of three new sub-brands that would each sell different model classes under their own brand names to add on to the standard Mazda brand. The three new sub-brands created by Mazda were AutoZam, Unos, and Enfini. In addition to this, Mazda had another separate brand called M2, which was responsible for manufacturing parts, customizing and having their own trim level models for a few of the cars that were sold under the different Mazda brands. This video will analyze the history of each of these brands, as well as the models that were sold under their names and dealerships. AutoZam was formed in 1989 and was responsible for manufacturing entry-level, small, compact, and K-class cars. While they had their own models manufactured by Mazda, they also sold rebadged Suzuki models. Think of it like Geo in the United States, which also sold small cars, some of which were also rebadged Suzuki models. In addition to their small cars, AutoZam also imported luxury Lancia models to be sold in AutoZam dealerships, although those were not rebadged. However, doing so did not translate well to sales of Lancia models in Japan because of the strange contrast between the large luxury Lanchas and the cute, little, and more affordable AutoZam models in the same dealerships together. AutoZam models were initially popular with young women due to targeted advertising campaigns, as well as their cute little characteristics. Even so, the brand was very unprofitable, and all AutoZam models had poor overall sales records, which led AutoZam to stop selling their own cars and import Lancia models by 1998. The dealership network, which later became known as Mazda AutoZam Store, remained active but only sells newer Mazda models to this day. Some of the models that were sold under the AutoZam brand were the now world-famous AZ1 sports car, which was also sold as a Suzuki Kara and the M2 1015 in 1994 alone. The AZ3 Coupe was a rebadged Mazda MX-3 with a smaller engine and a lower price. The AutoZam Scrum was a rebadged Suzuki Carry and were sold as K-Trucks and Vans. After the demise of AutoZam, Mazda continued to sell both models under the Mazda name to this day. Other rebadged Suzuki K-Cars were the AutoZam AZ Wagon, based on the Suzuki Wagon R, and later became the Mazda Flare, and finally the AZ Offroad, which was actually introduced after AutoZam went under in 1998, and therefore only used the Mazda name. One of the most successful AutoZam models was the Carol K car, based on the Suzuki Alto, and is also still being produced today under the Mazda name. Some Lancia models that were sold at AutoZam dealerships include the Delta, Prisma, and Thema. Unos was also formed in 1989 and acted as Mazda's premium and fun car brand, which was positioned above the Mazda brand itself. In addition to being sold in Japan, the Yunos brand was also sold in Australia between 1992 and 1996 and was also planning to enter North America under a different brand name, Amadi, to compete with Lexus, Acura, and Infiniti. It was originally planned to start selling cars by 1993, but it never came to be. Yunos was also responsible for importing Citroën models to be sold at their dealerships, which were also not rebadged. The Yunos brand, including its dealership network, were discontinued in 1996, although the name was revived for a limited edition model of the MX-5 in France in 2020, known as the Mazda MX-5 Yunos Edition. The first model sold under the Yunos name was the Yunos 500 midsize sedan, which was also sold in Europe as the Mazda Z06. Under the cancelled Amati brand, it was also planned to be sold as the Amati 300. The model was produced until 1999 and for its last three years was known as the Mazda Yunos 500 after the brand was discontinued. 
The Yonos Roadster was a rebadged Mazda MX-5NA, or Miata, that also had a few M2 branded special limited edition models that each had different features. The 1001, 1002, and 1028. The Yonos 300 sedan was a rebadged Mazda Persona with more luxurious features and a more powerful engine, and the Yonos Cosmo was the top of the line Yonos model. It was the successor to the Mazda Cosmo, which became a luxury grand touring coupe. The previous generations were sports cars followed by mid-sized cars. The Citroën models that were imported for sales were the AX, BX, and ZX. Enfini was formed in 1991 as the top-of-the-line luxury brand for Mazda. None of their vehicles complied with Japanese size regulations, which is why they were classed as exclusive luxury products. Like Yunos, Enfini also imported Citroën models, but they were only the higher-end XM and Xantia models. However, the Lancia models that were sold in AutoZam dealerships also had no compliance with size regulations and were classed as large luxury vehicles, which makes no sense to me as to why they were not sold in Enfini dealerships instead. The Enfini dealership network and car brand lineup shut down in 1997, although there are a few remaining Mazda Enfini stores that sell current Mazda models to this day. All but one Enfini car model, the MS-8 luxury sedan, were rebadged Mazdas. The MS-8 was actually a direct replacement to the Yonos 300 or Mazda Persona. The Enfini MS-6 was a rebadged Mazda Capella, which was split up into two different vehicle classes. The MS-6 was the hatchback, and the Mazda Kronos was the sedan. The MS-9 sedan was a rebadged Mazda Sentia, and was the flagship of the entire Mazda lineup at the time. The most popular model was the RX-7 based on the Mazda RX-7 sports car, which also had a cancelled variant by M2 which was sport-tuned, known as the M2-1020. And finally, the Enfini MPV minivan was a rebadged Mazda MPV. M2 was formed in 1991, and as I said earlier, the brand didn't have a dealership network of its own, but was responsible for manufacturing parts, customizing, and having their own trim level models based on other cars sold under the different Mazda brands. However, many were just concepts, and others were scheduled for production, but never happened. Those that were produced were only done so in very small amounts, and the brand ceased in 1995, partly due to the financial troubles in Japan during that time. Unfortunately, Mazda's overall dealership network and brand strategy proved to be a disaster for the company, and it came at the wrong time. The 1980s and 90s was when Japan had major financial troubles and the economy started to collapse. By 1998, all of Mazda's cars under the three dealership brands were either discontinued or rebranded back as Mazda's. But what if Mazda still had these brands today, and what would their models look like? 